Hello friends, it's Prajal Pathak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel Guru. Friends, in today's tutorial, we are going to make a simple script which can help us in geocoding, okay? Now see, we have already learned about reverse geocoding. In this video, we will be learning about geocoding. What is geocoding? Uh, getting the location of a particular place in form of its coordinates in latitudes and longitudes is known as geocoding, okay? While what is reverse geocoding? Getting the location of place uh, uh, with actual name using the latitude and longitude is known as reverse coding okay so we have already learned about reverse geocoding uh, using uh, certain API here in this tutorial we will be learning about geocoding okay now for this geocoding uh, we will be using the MapQuest API now MapQuest API uh, is provided to us by the company Verizon so we'll, we are going to use this okay so first of all what you have to do you have to generate yourself a API key before we can use it okay now see here is the link for the particular API or the website of MapQuest http https colon slash slash developer dot mapquest dot com slash documentation slash okay I'll give the URL in the video link uh, description you can get it from there now see first you have to visit this particular website uh, uh, you uh, when you will visit this this particular web page will appear now what you have to do here first of all you have to go and sign up here okay just click on this and you will be able to sign up so uh, see I have already uh, signed up so I do not need to sign up again okay so uh, here you have to it will ask for some uh, information like username email id and something more okay you just give it and come back after signing up come back now go here get coding okay uh, the second thing that you have to go do is uh, select this grab the key select it and here let it get open what you do uh, default thing will be available to uh, you by the name my application if you just uh, maximize it you can see here's your api key okay so you can just copy it remember this api is free uh, it allows us to 15000 calls in a month so you can use it okay 15000 is a very higher number so you can use it okay uh, what you do either you can copy it okay this particular api key or you can just create a new api key by selecting it uh, and this one will be available to us by default so here see i have used uh, created myself another one so I'll just maximize it and what you have to do you have to copy this key okay so let's just copy it and now uh, then let's come back to uh, uh, sublime text 3 and here we'll be storing this key in a variable called key okay so let's just store it and uh, see for the geocoding script we'll be using the request library now request library uh, is not available to us by default so we have to first install it how to install it very easy go to pip and type pip install request and it will install it okay so i hope i suppose you have already installed it so let's just import it import request okay so yep then now what you do do go back here and go back one step just see here on the left pane we have certain apis written here what you have to do select geocoding api okay just select it and from here what you have to do uh, for in the forward geocode click this get okay uh, it will give us a link we have to uh, we have to copy uh, you, we have to copy this particular api link okay so let's just copy it and paste it here okay so let's create a variable url and paste it here now see this url consists of many things first of all this part uh, is the uh, website name okay this is the api name geocoding is api name v1 is the version which is version 1 okay address is something like this and then we have to do past two things here key and the location of which we want to uh, find the coordinates okay so see key is already stored in the key variable and the location will store it in some other variable so let's see create a variable uh, lock you can give it any name okay uh, suppose i want to know the coordinates of a mall in my city uh, its name is g square mall kanpur okay so what i'll do i'll just store the location in a variable called log okay now uh, what you have to do just uh, uh -huh, from here uh, wait a minute uh, do do this thing here put a uh, yeah uh, what we call code okay now see uh, let's create a, another variable called main url this will be our main url that we'll be use, visiting so it will consist of first the url variable url variable is this okay from https up to key equals okay 
now the, then we have to pass our key this key is stored in the key variables so I'll just concatenate it with ok and then we need this thing so let's just copy it uh, paste it uh, here and then finally we have to pass the location so our location is stored in the log variable so I'll con con concatenate again it with log variable ok now we do not need this thing so let's just remove it yep so this will be our final variable so let if uh, let me just try printing main URL so you can see what is the main URL so let it get executed and then we'll making a request oops sorry it will be print okay so after that we'll make a request to this particular API uh, now uh, this is your complete URL HTTPS www.macrequest.api.com geo coding slash v1 slash address key this are key location is g square mall Kanpur okay so I want to know the coordinates of this particular city or mall okay so then now uh, let's start it with visiting this particular API how to visit it let's create an object called r or even call it a variable inside the request library we have a method called the get method okay which help us suppose you want to uh, visit particular website or API you have to pass the URL of that particular website or API here so our URL is stored in the main URL variable so we will simply pass main URL variable here now see what happens this URL will uh, give us uh, can give us response in three formats first one is the JSON format then is the XML format then is the CSV format but I want the data to be in JSON format now if you do not understand what is a JSON format uh -huh, what is this remove this uh, if you do not understand what is JSON format simply uh, you can think it like as an object uh, Python dictionary okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a variable called data and extract the JSON response from it okay so r dot json dot json will help us to extract the json response from it okay then uh, now json stands for javascript object notation sorry this is finally print oops what is this this is finally print data and if i just print it you will see a large dictionary uh, value will be printed on our screen uh, which will not uh, be of complete use to us so we have to extract uh, information of our interest from that particular dictionary okay so we'll learn how to do it don't worry so let it get printed uh, see here it started hanging actually it's not hanging uh, the dictionary is very large that's why it's happening like this let it get print 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 why is taking time yep so this is our uh, dictionary see it's quite large okay now see uh, this whole dictionary is not of uh, not of our use see first of all this is a dictionary, dictionary because it starts with a curly brace ends with a curly brace now we know that in python if something starts with a curly brace it's a, either a dictionary or a set but here we have keys and values so it's a dictionary okay now see first key is info then its value is a dictionary uh, which is something like from where to where uh, from here to up till here okay uh, the value of info is from here up till here we do not need this thing this is of no use to us then we have another dictionary called results okay whose value is a list so what we are going to do we are just going to print uh, extract the results key now how to extract the results key we know that from a dictionary if you want to extract particular key inside square brackets you have to pass the name of that key so results uh, results okay now how did I know what is the key name you can see it here where the first dictionary ends here is the first dictionary uh, first dictionary uh, that ends and then we have another key results you have to just pass this key name and see its value is a list okay because it starts with a square bracket now what I'm going to do I'm just going to extract the first thing from it okay now what is the first thing uh -huh. Uh, I think it starts with something like here and and somewhere let's see where it does but what we uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to extract the first uh, zeros index of this list so let's just extract the zeros index and print it and now you'll see uh, this tree will get small and uh, will have some data of orally or or interest okay removing all the not needed data so let it get printed first and then we'll further extract the data of our interest so first of all what I did I applied the JSON method so that we can only get the JSON response then from the bigger dictionary we extracted the key 
uh, with the name results okay and then its value was a list so i just wanted the f uh, first index of it so i extracted the first index okay now see it's a smaller dictionary okay now from it what we want is extract this thing another key we want to extract this particular location key okay uh, so again its value is a uh, list you can see so uh, let's first extract the location key how to do it uh, we'll create another variable called location you can give it any name location and then see our current dictionary is data its name is data so uh, uh, first the dictionary name then the key name our key name is location so let's just copy it and paste it here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so let's just copy it and paste it here now see again it's a uh, list i will just extract the first uh, index that is the zeroth index of this uh, list so let's see how to do it we'll again pass the zero here okay now done and let's try printing location here and let's run it and it will print uh, further re uh, reduce the size and this time it should print faster uh, it should not take this much time okay so see here we have got it now we have a final dictionary okay this dictionary uh, here we have all the information that we want street name it doesn't gives admin area 6 it doesn't gives uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. admin area 5 which is city it is kanpur okay admin area 5 type is city you can see admin area 4 is nothing and in the fourth blah 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 admin area 3 is the state name okay you can see admin area 3 type is state admin area 1 is india that is country and you can see admin area 1 type is country okay then postal code we have and then finally what we else we have let uh, latitude and longitude so let's see how to state it further it's very easy i hope you understood it and uh, now let's just remove the print statement we do not need it further now let's create a variable called city we are going to store the city from it now see currently our dictionary name is location okay this is our location dictionary so first of all i'll extract the admin area 5 admin area 5 is a city okay it is storing our city so let's just uh, store it okay uh, we'll create another variable called state again our dictionary name is location and then a key name uh, key, uh, the state name is stored in the admin area 3 so we'll just pass copy this key and paste it here and the next thing is country uh, see in geocoding we are only interested in latitude and longitude but i'm also telling how to uh, extract city state country for like things so a country is stored in admin area 1 so i'm just going to copy it so location and paste it here admin area 1 then and so now see uh, if you are storing it it means that it value will be stored in the city it value will be stored in the city it value will be stored in the country like this okay if you want the zip code let's create another variable called zip code and store the location uh, and then the key name uh, key name is postal code so postal code let me remove this paste it here then now let's store the latitude in a lat variable and longitude in the long, uh, long variable okay so again dictionary name is location key name is let lng okay so let's just copy it now if you can see its value is again a dictionary see its value is again a dictionary which is storing the latitude and longitude i want that only latitude to be stored uh, here in this let variable so again i'll pass the key name as let okay similarly lawn uh, let me just copy this line and paste it here so it will be lawn and only thing that we have to change is lawn here okay then we have extracted all the information finally we have to print it so let's print city is uh, city okay print uh, let's say state so it's, it's stored in the state variable finally print uh, let's say country so country it's stored in the country variable and let's print postal code so print postal code so postal uh, sorry zip code variable okay so zip code and then what else we have extracted latitude and longitude so print latitude 
and store it in let uh, sorry print the let variable and then finally print the longitude of this place and finally the uh, what is the was long okay so let's just run this again and it will only print the data for information and nothing else okay uh huh so let it get executed and then this is oops sorry we have an error key here key error here okay so what is this error let me just run this lng okay so sorry it the key name for the longitude is lng oops lng and oh, see here uh, inside the let, let lng dictionary the, for the key name for latitude is let but the key name for longitude is lng that's why we got a key error okay if the key is not present then we get a key error in dictionary okay we already know that thing c city is kanpur state is uttar pradesh country is india postal code is b uh, 2812 latitude is 26.460 longitude is this okay now if you just search this thing on internet you will find this location is actually of g square mall kanpur okay so yep this is it uh, so let's suppose i want to know the uh, location of kanpur zoo so let's just try running this and it should give us the information of kanpur zoo okay so let uh, so, so see city is kanpur state is uttar pradesh country is india uh, it's, it has two postal codes and then the latitude and finally the longitude okay so this is it now this is how you can use the uh, mapquest api to geocode some location okay so yep this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next video